this out. What's in there, folks? Look at that. It's a perfect circle. I love that thing. 1962, 1954. Oh, yeah! Jackpot! Ooh. Look at that guy. Wow. There's so many different options for investing right now. A lot of people are getting a little overwhelmed. Are you one of those people? Well, if you've got your money in the bank, not so great. It's losing value every single day. So check it out. Gold is unstoppable. Have you been watching the numbers with gold just for the past seven years? Look back over 20 years. The stock market, is there a single stock available that was available 2,000 years ago? No. There's no stocks on the stock market that were around 2,000 years ago. Guess what? Gold was. Gold was around 6,000 years ago. You can call Noble Gold Investments right now. If you want to get some gold, you want to get some gold, you want a free gold coin, convert your 401 or IRA through Noble Gold Investments. Real simple. Call them up. Let them know Rex from Leak Project sent you. Get a free ebook if you go to leakprojectgold.com, how to get out of the rat race. Ebooks that'll help you and your family and help protect your assets. Now, obviously, there's never any guarantees. So what do you do? You look at what the big banks are doing. Noble Gold Investments has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Tons of five-star reviews. Give them a call. 1-877-646-5347. Let's get back to the podcast and be the change you want to see. It's like psychedelic. To take it home. The label's weathered off. Diamond found some wild turkey. Oh. There you go, man. There's your accommodations. You can't, you can't get this more stripped than that. Go ahead. Like everything is gone. No. We're en route to that, folks. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hello. This area. Oh, there's more over here. Of uh, New Mexico. And then, 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 oh, um, this is the mountain. This represents the mountain right here. Probably Angel Mountain. Mm -hmm. So and again, another another procession panel. One, two, three, four, five, five people. Holding hands. And then a few underneath. Stand by. Anybody in here? The fly? He just disappeared. Where'd he go? Interpret them. But this is one of the opening petroglyphs, which is very similar to the petroglyphs or the pictographs in Penitente Canyon. Hey everybody, Rex Bear Lee Project. How the heck are you? Beautiful day today out here in Southern Colorado. Oh wait, we're not in Southern Colorado, we're in Northern New Mexico. We're at Crow Canyon. We're gonna check out some amazing petroglyphs out here. 
and we're gonna do a tour out here actually uh, next month so if you're interested and you probably are get a hold of myself or diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch project you can either email myself leak project at gmail.com or you can get a hold of diamond over at the Oppenheimer Ranch project and this is the first panel that we're gonna look at there's the diamond so we got Spider-Man on this one. Well, this is the uh, same. This is the same petroglyph, and there's multiple versions of it that we saw in Penitente Canyon, mm -hmm. which is a pictograph. But it's four, five, six, seven people. See how these are faded? Yeah. Holding hands, like paper cutouts, and that's in Penitente Canyon. 350 miles from here. Isn't that amazing? On the other side of the Continental Divide. Yeah. So, same group of people here telling the same story. Now, we've got... And you remember the procession panel. You found that with us. Oh, yeah. In Utah. Oh, yeah. That's a, hu a much larger, more intricate version of the, whatever this story is. Mm-hmm. Well, if there's seven of them, I think it makes me think of the seven in the menorah, the seven-headed serpents in the Nagas, the seven planets so the seven days of the week the seven planetary bodies are looking well in here week. there there's this there's four one two three four one two three four so that's interesting to note yeah and then below them how many do we there's also that looks like the, the full one I, it's hard to tell there looks like at least seven one two three four five six seven and then there's huh and then above it, is that a weathered petroglyph? Yes, it is. Deep pecking on that. Yeah. But deep weathering, too. That's a big peck. <laughs> obviously a new built structure. But the sun... We found the sandals of Jesus. Fantastic panel. Clearly we can see what I think is sprouting seeds right there. Bottom left. Yeah. That's what it looks like. And some more interesting things going on here. We got the bird feet, but it looks also like some vandalism. But what's uh, up the with the Jesus tan. sandals? The sandals, those are sandals. They're moccasins. Next to corn. Yep. There's a lot of corn here, um, which is why I think we're looking at corn and seeds. And maybe the bird clan. It's Crow Canyon, so that would be the Crow clan. Looks like a bong above the seeds. <laughs> it does. And then there's there's some weird figure. This guy. With an arm? Yeah. Yeah, like what's what is this dude? And we have more seeds that are sprouting into and then birds. Crow clan. Well this is the crow clan, but what are these? More seeds. Grow the corn. Oh, oh, and look, the hourglass. We've seen this at other places, this one. Yes, sir. So this is their way of like paying homage to make it rain, to make it, to make the, or to make this uh, crop sprout. It's like, this is their magic panel. This is their worship panel right here. Thank you. And this is the perfect place to grow right here in this little flat, right off this wash, which is right off Largo wash. Yeah, because you'd have water filling up that. So this is their sandals, the moccasins that they made. Maybe they used the, they they used the corn and the stalks of the corn to make the moccasins. The corn silk. Ah, hello. <laughs> cool. Oh, That's amazing. And then we got this vertebrae right here. Look.
Look at this, folks. It's kind of weathered right now, but if you look at the center, you're going to see the chief at the center. You'll see a plus. You'll see this plus sign right here, which I, I, I see these symbols in particular at many sites that I've been to in southern Utah, southern Colorado, and New Mexico also. And then look at all the different... Look at all the different figures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you've got the larger turtle. And then look at this guy. Now what is this? This is an old. I can't tell what that says. There we can obviously see. See that guy? Uh, that looks like a shield, you know? I was thinking it was a chief with and his then horns. And more procession panel with more people. Yeah, a lot of them. And then some to the other side over here. Oh, and hey, remember? Highly weathered here. Remember um, Newspaper Rock? The volcano, dude? Yeah. Looks kind of like that. Yeah, I counted at least a dozen on the top to the right and like seven to the left. Yeah. But no, hey, Diamond, another thing that we see a lot is this plus symbol at these sites. What does that mean? It could be the Vikings that came here and put their mark on top of everything. Wow, think about that. Think about, think that. about that. And you say there's more over there? Just a few uh, back here in the alcove. Another one in the hourglass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then weird looking tree. What are these weird looking animal things? I think some kind of a bird taking off. Yeah. Turkey. Turkey vulture. What is it with the turkey lately, man? Wow. That is weird. Interesting. Oh, yeah, even. What's above Squatter Man? It's like something shooting out. Yep. Squat, squatter Man, and it's got... That's perfect Squatter Man right there. Another one. More moccasins and crows feet. Lots of people holding hands. And we've seen those at these at several spots we saw these in um utah in much bigger fashion remember the the massive ones yeah right there and then there's the bird above it it's like a crane yeah which we just saw flying this morning yeah we did and then what are those guys up there a couple more cranes or something i don't know but there's the creation story with the snake yeah. So a lot of older glyphs, a lot of weathering here. Nice anthropomorph, nice squatter man. Comes into this massive cave that is covered with glyphs. Oh, there's a big one right there. That are pretty. We've got all these bird feet here, Crow Canyon style. Feet, little mini more feet. feet. Oh yeah, jackpot. Ooh, look at that guy. Wow. It's like psychedelic. Keep him moving. Look at this guy up here. There's three of them. Wow, I forgot how cool this panel was, man. Look at this. Look at their heads. Triangle shaped. Upside down triangle. Okay. So see this little slot is where the art starts to get very good and well preserved. These are very deeply incised petroglyphs. 
and some of them are going to be very ornate. Oh, look at these guys over here. ceremonial walk and then there's petroglyphs inside this little slot here here's two more hourglasses right here and there's petroglyphs on both sides here How blue the skies are today, folks. Gorgeous. Got some more corn growing right there. See the corn stalk? Oh, what does that mean? That. What is that? Diamond, check this out, man. I haven't been recording anything. What? Oh, shit. Hourglass. <laughs> And then, what is that? Are those bows? Yeah, that's what I would think. Oh, wow. This is like the mother load right here. Look at this. Look at this. That, those three lines right there, that represents water. This represents corn. Um, here's the farmer plowing or doing, you know, harvesting the corn. There's like some type of, uh, I don't know if that's a plant or a symbol of good luck above him or her. It's like the two feet. This might have something to do with the equinox right here. This might have something to do with the seasons based upon where the shadow is. It'll tell you what time of year it is. I'm not sure what these hourglass symbols represent. There's a creature right there. Also, I'm not 100% sure what this represents. This is interesting. Um... A mesa, maybe that represents some type of mesa or some type of like uh, agriculture or some plants or I'm not 100% sure, but I definitely know this is water. We definitely know this is corn. That's the mountain. That's the mountain, corn growing out of the mountain. Not sure what this guy represents. Looks like 
like a snake alligator head coming out, like two snakes wrapping together and an alligator almost, like crocodile head or something. And you got another one of these characters down here, if you can see, holding the same type of tool. Not really sure what, what these rays represent. They almost look like rays, like sun rays. And then we see this guy again, another one of these guys with the horns. Uh, this could be somebody with some type of helmet that has horns as a helmet. This appears to be some type of battle scene because it uh, appears they have some type of swords right here. So maybe this is the Spaniards. Maybe this is uh, the Spaniards attacking and this is some type of... There's another one of the hourglass symbols. Yeah, and then you got another one of these guys right out here. Look at this. Oh, Bear Clan. Right Definitely there. bow and arrow is back there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is where the Cocopelli motif comes in. What's this? And that's about two feet long there and then you got a guy with a bow and arrow this is a good one Here. 1962, 1954. Actually, I could, you, folks are getting a better view with the camera than you would be here right now because of the lighting. So this camera is doing a really good job. You can see there's more water. That actually might represent mounds. A lot of these guys in Moab. Yeah, nice. A little more modern. Yeah. Nice little pack rat cave. Get the hantavirus. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not getting good lighting on that. Over here you will. Right over here. And again, there's a boogeyman down here that's washed out. Yeah. Interesting, the DNA or whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the two T's inside of it. What is that? There's another bow. There's a couple of hoofs. Stuff is right around the corner here. I remember. And then we go across the river there. Everything about this place feels like sacred. Yeah. Here's one from 1906.
another one of those X's. See this? Here's the. What's that? He's gone. <laughs> ah, it's an ending point. Yeah. Water. He's holding a huge staff with dots on either side of it. You can see him with like a wheat top. Clearly a bow and arrow on this dude's hand. That three feather headdress is here and there. Thunderbird on the bottom. Squatter man over here. Water man with a dress. Another one of the seeds sprouting, maybe? More sperm. That's what I was thinking at first. <laughs> okay, so the same thing. the big warrior panel in the Crow Canyon petroglyphs area New Mexico hope to see you next month for the tour how big are you talking pretty creepy big with the two oars They're actually arrows with feathers, I think, from this bow. We've been seeing lots of bow and arrows, but now we've got the big warrior. What kind of looks like Bigfoot? You know what? What's this in the center? Yeah, that's interesting. I agree. Come down. The story's getting washed out here. And the big warrior panel moves down to. Why do you think there's two little people underneath the big bird? Is that like the crane that brings life? The story of the. And then there's some squiggly line right there. But see this right here? Dude's got four arms and a sprout shooting out of his head. Another one of those tools. Farmers. That. There's some, you see that? Hmm. It says something. I ain't touching it. It's like a tool. Oh. You think this is a tool? 44 panel. I think that's a tool. His spear, his staff, he's the chief. And this is like energy? It should be the bow from his arrow, or the arrow from his bow. Because this definitely are arrows, these this guy's got. The last panel was all bows. 
Now we got arrows. I don't think they're oars. Look like spears almost or something. Could be spears, yeah. Yes, sir. And he's definitely holding a shield. Which is not why he looks huge. So we got his feet and then these interesting little circles on the outside. The shield. The wow. bow. There's the bow. The outside of the bow. Yeah. A lot of gun, sh gun shots. Yeah. But we see these a lot. We see these circles a lot. And I'm, I'm wondering what that represents. Could be decorative for the spear. But why does the spear not have a spear tip? Maybe they didn't have tips. They just used wood this way. 44 panel. Onward and forward. You can see where the Anunnaki probably step pyramids. Evidence of a mud flood. Look at that. It's all mud. That's when the poles flipped. With the poles flipped. There it is. See it? Look at that, folks. December 31st? Yeah, global warming my ass. There's a dinosaur riding a horse over there. <laughs> right, we're not even at the good stuff. Good. <laughs> we got Big Bird. We got two musical notes. We got Dog Man, like a dog poodle. We got this other guy with this amazing hairdo. Dog dude. <laughs> And then we got the sperm snake. And then we got this guy hunting a deer or something with the bow, shooting an arrow at him. And then you got some weird thing over there. Something there. But that's what you got. And you haven't even come around the corner here. Oh, man. Well, we've got... <laughs> You're right. Dina, it's a dinosaur. dinosaur right riding right it's a dinosaur. It's a raptor going. Rah! It's like eating his prey. That's intense, man. I think that's the best one yet. Dino rider. They call this. Did you see the one to the right of that? I can't feel my legs. Did you see that? We got. It. And then we'll, <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, Tom has been hiking a lot, <laughs> dude. That's the Dino Rider right there, straight up. That's impressive. All right, we're gonna go find more. And then there's the Hopi uh, or the X symbol, the circle around it. 
circle of life. Well, you see it. Yeah, it's also Ojibwa. They're. Uh, what is that thing to the right? That's weird. That X. Yeah, I guess where we're at, guys. We're at the 44 panel. Oh. Deeply in size. Looks like a sock. No one has any clue. Who knew? Well, now you can. Now you can do this. Dagger man. Maybe standing on top of a chupacabra, definitely the amazing 44 panel. Thanks. What, are that, what does that represent? The 44? It's turning, it's the same symbol that's rotating there. It is, but the bottom ones have long, longer sides than the upper ones, yeah. So, very interesting, intriguing, and it's showing like they connect somehow. Yeah. Like, it's like, look, this is what happens when it flips. But what's flipping? Four, the four corners, the four north, east, south, west, four cardinal points, pole shift. <laughs> pole shift. <laughs> There's the giant web. Check this out. Chinese. Oh man, you can't really. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. And there's something underneath. But that's amazing. Looks like an H block with two mountains pointing towards it. That's very intricate. Look at the intricacy of that one with the two mountains pointing towards each other and the bit, the H right here. That was a head of one of the anthromorphs over here. That was their head of a person. So that's a person. There's well, here's his arm. His arm. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? What is it? Reminds me of a... Uh, that's what I was thinking is a Kachina. And then we've seen this stuff um, in off the highway in New Mexico. Remember? Anthropomorph with the square head is right here, a big one. You can see the square head and the arms and the body. A little corn growing from the mountain. And then this looks like a chief kachina because he's got the feathers. Seven feathers to be exact. That's pretty cool. Couple interesting figures over there. Got a little amazing. Thanks, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Internet.